Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel or on our website. Reach out to me directly. It's in the description below, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing what must have been the hit watch of 2018. Launched at Basel World, this is the latest generation Rolex Oyster Perpetual GMT Master II, reference 126710BLRO, the Pepsi Jubilee. 40 millimeters in diameter. The watch is a reasonable 12.1 millimeters thick. From lug to lug, it measures 48 millimeters, and from salad end link to salad end link, it's actually a still reasonable 49.5 millimeters across the wrist with a 20 millimeter lug spacing. Pop open the clasp. It's an interesting combination of an oyster clasp and a Jubilee bracelet. And you throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. You can see from over the top, the fit is perfect. The cuff shot proves it'll easily slide underneath any kind of a sleeve and we'll get a clear down the barrel shot right here. You can see I've got plenty of clearance on both sides of my wrist. Less than 50 millimeters lug to lug means I can recommend this Rolex watch for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. There's your over the top right there. Now taking a look at the Jubilee. The Jubilee has come a long way. Originally a rather flimsy dress bracelet, elegant but not substantial. Now with all solid center links, it feels like a sports watch bracelet. You don't need to buy the three link oyster anymore. This is robust enough for everyday use, including active lifestyles. It's still elegant with its small link design, wonderfully supple, more so than the oyster. You have satin finished flanks, polished centers, polished outer faces, and then removable links fixed by screws. You have a double locking clasp. You can see there's a lip lock system with a beak and a hook internally. It's snaps shut once and then it snaps shut a second time and you can see there's a straight through polish on the clasp with polished faces and satin shoulders. There's a little kerf so you can dig your nail in under the crown to pop it open and internally though it's a jubilee you still get the easy link five millimeter in and out tool free adjustment system. You'll also note internally there are divots drilled with little tracks leading into them so you can use your strap tool to restation the bracelet inside the clasp for fine tuning the fit. The steel as ever on a modern Rolex 904L. It's not harder than standard steel. It is more corrosion resistant. Like Zinn's U-Boat style, Rolex boasts that you don't need to rinse it when withdrawing it from salt water. It will not corrode all the same. And though the watch is 100 meters water resistant, Rolex uses the trip lock crown that's more commonly seen on the highly rated diving watches. So this is upgraded from the twin lock and though the watch is rated at 100 with this screw down trip lock crown i suspect it's probably more in fact this is the super case we know it well now satin finished on the top of its lug hoods you can see there's a sharp break between the lugs and the flank the side is sheer and polished the ends are squared off and rugged. It's a more burly, butch, and masculine look for the Rolex 40 millimeter. Even if nominally the case size doesn't increase, it does look more like a 42 on the wrist. The bezel is steel, but the insert is ceramic. This was the first time in the era of the ceramic bezel GMT, which started back in 2005, but it was the first time you could get stainless steel, a GMT Master II, and the ceramic Pepsi bezel. The arrival of the Jubilee actually harks back to the original GMT Masters and GMT Masters II as up until the six-digit case era, the GMT Master and Master II were always available with the Jubilee as an option. It returned with the six-digit ceramic bezel on this model. The ceramic insert is remarkably scratch resistant. You can see the numerals and indices. That silver is actually deposited platinum inside the ceramic. Sapphire crystal, black lacquer dial, white gold hands and indices as ever with the GMT Master II, it is a true dual time. So you have your hacking or stop seconds function, you have your second time zone. And note, well the watch is keeping time, I've got my 24 hour second time zone, that's the time zone where I am not. And then I've got my 12 hour hand, which I can adjust in one hour increments as I travel. East, west, it doesn't matter, I can drive the date in both directions. And the mechanism feels robust. Some watches, you start driving those secondary functions, especially GMT functions, they feel flimsy. The Rolex stem tube assembly is robust. Solid case back, oyster style, inside, caliber 3285, 31 joules, bi-directional automatic winding, a change from the previous movement. It now features a rotor bearing rather than a jeweled staff for greater shock resistance. Also, a longer power reserve, now 70 hours, achieved by a larger mainspring inside a thinned out mainspring barrel, a revised gear train, 
membrane and a ligand etched Rolex Chronergy escapement, which as I like to say, is basically Rolex's answer to the Omega coaxial. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has the second time zone. It has the stop second. It's also a COSC certified chronometer, but Rolex goes one better, casing up the certified movement and timing it to run no worse than minus two plus two seconds per 24 hours. That is the superlative chronometer standard that Rolex now bestows on its watches. Shock resistance, courtesy of a free sprung balance and a full balance bridge. Overcoil hairspring, made by hand, allowing the watch to keep excellent time in every orientation on the wrist or dresser and helping it to earn that chronometer certification. Finally, that hairspring is made of what Rolex calls power chrome blue, which is a blue oxidized niobium zirconium and thus thoroughly anti-magnetic. Historically, this is a pilot's watch as the first examples were delivered in 1954 for Pan Am pilots. Today, whether an aviator or an armchair aviator, the Rolex GMT truly is the the ultimate excitement machine. 40 millimeters ready to take wing on your wrist. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Light the afterburners with the Rolex GMT by night, Rolex's proprietary chromolite blue. Note all four hands loomed.